Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of TEW 2020 Predicts here. Uh, the series where we use the magic eight ball that is totally Extreme Wrestling to gaze into the future and see what is potentially to come in the career of a particular superstar. And in this week, uh, we jump over to AEW. When we do WWE superstars, there's the chance they'll stay there the entire time. Little chance this guy stays in AEW the entire time because Tony's going to bankrupt it as usual, I'm going to assume. Uh, but it is Mr. Daniel Garcia. Daniel Garcia, rumoured, you know, he was going to go to NXT under Triple H. Uh, and then Triple H didn't do NXT. And then he went to AEW. Uh, and, yeah, it's come pretty well. I thought, thought they might go to the Blackpool Combat Club, aligned with Daniel Bryan and that. He didn't. He aligned with the JS, JAS, Jericho Appreciation Society. And doing all the stuff with there. But 23 years old, hot, young prospect is Daniel Garcia. Plenty of career left, five years of experience already, technician. You know, he's in AEW, in PWG, PWG World Heavyweight Champion, in Terminus. So, he's in a lot of things right now. And there's plenty, plenty, plenty more time in his career, I am sure, for him to do even more. So, without further ado, let's simulate forward uh, to the end of the career of Daniel Garcia, or as close as possible, and look to answer that question of what is to come. Will he stay in AEW till it goes down? And when he ends... Will he go to WWE? Will he finally go under Triple H's management? Without further ado, let's go find out. Let's simulate forward to the end of Daniel Garcia's crash career. And, yeah, look to answer that magical question of what is to come in the career of Daniel Garcia. And here we are, Sunday week for August 2058. 36 years into the future. And Daniel Garcia has retired. 59 years old, never wrestles. 41 years of experience. In a manager now in WWE, a Mr. Dante Rios. Uh, I mean, the first things you notice, he's still quite popular. Psychology experience respect, all very high. Decent mic as well. Uh, Five-time wrestler of the year in the WWE Hall of Fame. A lot of companies. Regular tag teams with Kevin Blackwood and Black Death and Tarek, North America's Most Wanted. A lot of things of note with Daniel Garcia there. And as we look at his headlines as usual to start... Uh, oh uh, god, he's then still with AEW, left PW and left Terminus full time with AEW starting in 2024. He was hired by MLW in 2026, so Tony Khan ran those guys out of business very early, <laughs> very, very early in this one. Uh, MLW was September 2026, Defy was November 2027, finally hired by WWE in May of 2029. So it took a few years, three four years but he finally got into WWE there and yeah he just stayed there extending his contract you know in WWE from 2029 still in it now so coming up on 30 years in the dub massive uh got in a relationship with Becca uh Becca is I don't know if they will load actually he got in a relationship with Becca who I assume is another what well, is a new gen of some sorts Unless it's someone I just don't know, in which case, fair enough. Uh, more extensions, a cheating breakup. This is lagging a little bit, so I can't click on it. Just give me a minute here. Ah, oh, here's Becca. Becca is... That's Becca. If you're curious, that's Becca. Uh, she's 61 now. Cheating breakup. Becca cheated with Marcus Fly. And so Daniel Garcia understandably hates Marcus Fly, who... That's Christopher Daniels, isn't it? That's the reincarnation of Christopher Daniels, I want to say. Fair enough. Uh, Staying in WWE, he moved to the Northwest. Uh, started picking up for some injuries. For t uh, Stranger Returned Cup over two months in 2046. Not bad. I mean, your first 22 years, 24 years in this save, no injuries, is very good. Another injury in 2048, 50 days, another Stranger Returned Cup. Uh, social media storm, bullying a young fan. Not much to it. And then a crack tail owner for 28 days. So really not much injuries for Daniel Garcia. A very sturdy man. Before finally he retired in December of 2057. Inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And then they gave him a new contract to be a manager. So Daniel Garcia. Solid career. Relationship wise maybe not working out the best for him. But still. Our WWE Hall of Fame worthy career. Must mean it went well. Let's go to title history. AEW. No titles. They went out of business very quickly, though. 
WWE got a lot of titles. Two Money in the Banks in 2036 and 2041. Uh, I mean, first, you know, he also won some MLW titles, the Fire titles, Terminus, all of that. But WWE-wise, two Money in the Banks in 2036 and 2041. Five Royal Rumbles, 2036, 37, 38, 39 and 41. So he won five Rumbles in six years. A very dominant little spell from Daniel Garcia there. And then, like, straight up title-wise... God, what was his first title in WWE? Uh, his first title was the Intercontinental, October 2029 to April 2030. Uh, and then another Intercontinental title ring. He had to wait until 2052, so it was right at the end of his career. Uh, oh, God. I, I'll try and do it in order then. Intercontinental, October 29 to April 2030. Then his next title came in 2038, 2034. The WWE title, so jump up right up to the big one. Yeah, yep, 2034, April 2034, so WrestleMania 40, fair enough, to November 2034, decent little seven-month reign with 11 defences. Uh, your next title comes in 2038, which is the Raw Tag Team with Brooks Jensen, go on Brooks, uh, February 2038, August 2038, so six months, nine defences, nice, and he was a champ champ for a bit because he lost down August 2038. But in July 2038, he became WWE Champion again, held it till January 2039. So, four, five, six months, eight defences, decent. Then after that, it is, God, so in January 2039, he doesn't win another title until 42. 2041, actually, it's at the WWE title again. So a lot of his first titles are already told. September 2041 to March 2042. Lost it just before WrestleMania, I think. Unlucky, mate. But another decent all reign. All his WWE titles out of the way. Uh, then from... He lost down March 2042. Then in September 2042, he won the Universal title till January 2043. So a shorter reign with that one. Uh, we're into January 2043 now. Uh, then April 2044 at WrestleMania for 42 till July 2044. Three months, five defenses, SmackDown tag guys with Kevin Owens, Daniel Garcia, and Kevin Owens, banging tag team. Uh, we're in 2044. Uh, we got 2049. God, so that's July, that's June. So in June 2049, he won the SmackDown tag titles with Dennis Gray. I'll have to check who Dennis Gray is. Uh, June 2049 to November 2049. So five months six defenses and he was champ champ for a bit for most of that reign actually because he won that in june 2049 and then in july 2049 he won the WWE universal title and he held that till january 2050 so for four months of his five months of that smell and tag title reign he was a champ champ with the universal belt two blue belts over his shoulders january 2050 lost that universal title that was all his world titles a five-time world champion i mean that's good five royal rumbles five-time world champ six six tag titles two in a con now that's a lot. Uh, the rest of his title reigns were Smad on Tag Titles, October 2051 till June 2052. Long reign with that one with Dennis Gray. August 2052, they, they won it right back as well two months later, till December 2052 with Dennis Gray. And then in February 2054 till May 2054, three months, four defences with Kyle Truman. Like I said, healthy trophy cabinet, two money in the banks, five rumbles, two intercontinental, six tag titles, five world titles. That's a that's a that's a nice little championship haul throughout your career now, isn't it? Uh, achievement wise, like we said, five time wrestler of the year, 2034, 35, 36, 38, 39. Best wrestler in the world for five out of six years. I mean, that's just a dominant spell, isn't he? Kind of eked his way up, 233, 86, 65, out, 102, 104, 1. But then 53, 15, 44, 60, 30, 15, 11. He got that 11, then he powered into it, 1-1-1, one, 5-1-1. One, 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 one. And then he kind of just dropped out a bit, 10-8, and then he really dropped out. But he stayed in the top 100 for the rest of his career, which is still good. 13, 31, 16, 29, 53, 47, 44, 45, 59, 33, 58, 61, 41, 37, 68, 59. So he just kind of floated up and down, you know, staying at least below 70 throughout five-time wrestler of the year performance wise daniel garcia has done very very well uh match history i mean he was five-time wrestler of the year so i'm expecting some decent ratings at least yeah average rank of 71 highest rank of 91 856 wins 524 losses 
which puts his career at 1,380 matches, 856 wins, which is very positive for him. Highest rating of 91, like we said. Um, so let's go and find his first 91 rated match, I suppose. Uh, yeah, he's had quite a few, but 2034, he had his first. I uh, didn't fight many matches this year in WWE. I think this might have been one of his early injuries, but uh, a 91 rated match, his first was here on June 2034 Raw. He beat Logan Paul to retain the day title, of course. Dante Rios and Logan Paul put on a bang. A 93 from him, 83 from Logan. You'd expect nothing less from the leader of the Low Gang. And there's another 91 here on Raw. Dante Rios and Ray Phoenix did Isaiah Cassidy and Logan Paul. Logan Paul again. Uh, 94 from Logan Paul, 96 from Daniel Garcia. They're like the... Uh, the John Cena and Randy Orton of their generation. And then there was no more night ones. That was just a really good little spell he had with Logan Paul specifically. <laughs> but still, Daniel Garcia, overall, good career. Uh, I just wanted to check a couple little things. We will double check that AEW's gone out of business, of course. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to go to WrestleMania 34, where he won the Dudley Tile, I want to say. Dudley Ring Warriors is the new main event, also, if you're curious. But WrestleMania, yeah. WrestleMania 40, yeah. Is that what it is? WrestleMania 50, even. Jesus, where was the time go? WrestleMania 50, uh, Daniel, Dante Rios, Daniel Garcia defeated Kevin Owens in a cage match to win the Dudley title. That was his first world title, I think. It might not have been, but it might have been. Uh, elsewhere, Dante Martin defeated Gunter, Mentos Ford, and Bobby Lashley for the Universal. Jesus. Banger. Uh, Roman Reigns beat Rich Swan. Okay. Uh, Dan Daniel Garcia winning his first Dolly title, I want to say. Or at very least, winning the Dolly title in the main event of WrestleMania, and then retaining it against Kevin Owens the next day as well. Great. Good for him. Banger. And uh, last thing was just to double check that, uh, once again, Tony Khan has run at AWR Business. Yep, they, they June, July 2025. 20, I think that might be the earliest I've seen him bankrupt them. Which, you know what, Tony? Fair play, mate. Fair play to you. You're, uh, you, you're outdoing yourself. Financial problems, as usual. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. As that is going to be it for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the career of Daniel Garcia, I think it went well, best wrestler in the world in five out of six years, five time world champ, five rumbles, six Magna six tag titles, two in a condo, two money in the bank, WWE Hall of Famer, a lot of trophies, a lot of really good matches, what more could you want, but doesn't matter what I think, that's what you think, so let me know in the comments down below what you think, let me know any other superstars you want to see me use, the Magic 8 Board is totally stream wrestling to gaze into their future and see what may come of it, uh, subscribe for more, if you have enjoyed, I hope you have. Leave a like also. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching. <laughs>